So here's what you'll need for this recipe. You'll need one butternut squash. Make sure it's firm. It doesn't have any bruises on it or it's not soft. Some carrots. One sweet potato. An onion. I used a Vidalia onion. You can use any kind. A celery stalk. Some fresh rosemary. Some paprika. Olive oil. And chicken stock. You'll also need um, some heavy cream and butter. And a large saucepan or soup pot. Make sure you peel all your vegetables that need to be peeled, like this butternut squash. And if you have the peels left over, if you have a compost heap in the back like we do, you could just throw those in there. Uh, this is what the butternut squash looks like peeled. And here's how I cubed it up. Started at the top, and then when I got to the middle part, I split it in half and scooped out the seeds with a spoon. This looks tricky, but it's actually quite easy. I chopped up the rest of my vegetables. Then I added the oil into the pan. And then butter. You want the butter and the oil to kind of combine so you have a smooth consistency. Make sure you're on medium heat as well. You want to stir that around until it all melts. Then you want to add your carrots, onions, and celery. You want to cook them for about five minutes or until they, the onions turn brown. Not brown, more like a caramel color. And you want to make sure your vegetables are soft, so you want to leave them in there for about five minutes. After that, go ahead and add your butternut squash and sweet potato. and then your chicken stock. I added one liter of chicken stock, um, but if you don't have enough, you want it to cover the sweet potato and the butternut squash. And in this case, I had to add another half of a liter, or you can also add water, just enough to cover the vegetables because you want them to be all in the stock. You want to stir that around, make sure you have enough space, and go ahead and add some more liquid if necessary. Then you want to bring it to a boil. Oh, and don't forget your paprika. And after you bring it to a boil, you want to cover it. and let it simmer uh, for about 35 minutes. You want to lower the heat at this point. And cover your soup and then just wait a while. After that, I have an immersion blender and I stuck that in there and just blended it all together. If you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and transfer the liquid into a blender or a food processor and then bring it back to the pot once it's all blended. Now I'm going to add the cream. You can skip this point, this part of the recipe, and add it later. And of course, season with salt and pepper to taste. And don't be scared to just taste it as you're going. Now in this case, I added the cream afterwards. Um, and then you garnish with rosemary.